Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about How do we estimate quantity of steel in slab? Using thumb rules Estimation of steel reinforcement quantity for concrete slab, footing, and column, beams etc. is crucial for the cost evaluation for the construction. Design drawings are used as a base for computing rebar quantity in different structural elements. Thumb rules for civil engineers is essential for any civil engineer, site engineer, or civil supervisor. They play a crucial role while taking quick decisions on site. Thumb rules help you in finding out the solution using a simple mathematical formula and make smart decisions whenever needed. But, while using these thumb rules, you must remember that the thumb rule never gives the exact or accurate results, you just have used them for approximate results. In this video we will discuss about the most asked questions in civil engineering during building construction or before starting building construction, there is a question, how to calculate or estimate the quantity of steel in reinforced cement concrete, RCC, slab. There are two basic thumb rules which are used to estimate the quantity of steel. Method 1 You can make a rough estimate by using thumb rule about 80 kg of steel is required per 1 cubic meter of slab. Method 2 Another thumb rule, we can use 1% of steel by volume of slab. Method 1 You can make a rough estimate by using thumb rule about 80 kg of steel is required per 1 cubic meter of slab. Suppose we have a slab of size 12 meter times 10 meter times 0.2 meter step 1 Calculate the volume of concrete. 12 meter times 10 meter times 0.2 meter equals 24 cubic meter step to calculate the steel quantity using formula. Thumb rule to estimate steel quantity of above slab equals volume of concrete times 80 kgs. So, as per rule steel quantity of above slab equals volume of concrete times 80 kgs equals 24 cubic meter times 80 kgs equals 1920 kgs or 1.9 metric tons therefore by the above thumb rule for a slab of dimension 12 meter times 10 meter times 0.2 meter we require 1920 kgs or 1.9 metric ton of steel Method 2 Another thumb rule, we can use 1% of steel by volume of slab. The following recommendations thumb rules for civil engineers for the steel quantity used in different members of the building. Slab 1% of the total volume of concrete. Beam 2% of the total volume of concrete. 
Column 2.5% of total volume of concrete. Footings 0.8% of the total volume of concrete. Suppose we have a slab of size 12 meter times 10 meter times 0.2 meter. Step 1 Calculate the volume of concrete. 12 meter times 10 meter times 0.2 meter equals 24 cubic meter. Step 2 Calculate the steel quantity using formula. As per the guidelines the steel quantity of slab is 1% of the total volume of concrete utilized. Thumb rule to estimate steel quantity of above slab equals volume of concrete x density of steel x percent of steel of member. Density of steel equals 7850 kg m3 equals 24 times 7850 times 1% equals 1884 kgs. Therefore by the above thumb rule for a slab of dimension 12 meter times 10 meter times 0.2 meter, we require 1,884 kgs or 1.884 metric ton of steel. For accurate estimation, you can refer to bar bending schedule here we need to find the dimensions, from there we can find total number of bars with the help of spacing of main bar and distribution bars, then select the diameter of bar for main bar and distribution bars. Then we can calculate the exact quantity of steel requires to construct a slab. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.